Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. This is going to be a quick one, but I thought it was worth making a video. So, um, for a little while now, we've actually had a real PS4 emulator on the market. There's actually been a couple that have been released, but the one we're going to be talking about today is KYTY. I'm not exactly sure if it should be pronounced Kitty or just KYTY. So it's recently been updated, and uh, the initial release was May 21st, 2022, and the main focus here was PS4 emulation. Homebrew stuff was running on it, but with version 0.2.0, which was released five days ago as of making this video here, it now supports PS4 emulation and PS5 homebrew emulation. So before we even get any further into this, I do want to mention that it is super early for this emulator. You're not going to be playing The Last of Us Remastered for a little while now, and you know, hopefully that does change down the road, but this is really great news for the emulation scene. Now, if you're interested in learning more about KYTY, I will leave a link to the GitHub in the description. Lots of great information, and now this is touted as a PS4 and PS5 emulator. So uh, I do want to bring your attention to a YouTuber who goes by the name Brutal Sam. Link for this channel will be in the description. They actually show off a couple PS4 games running with this emulator. Simple PS4 games like Black Hole and Worms, plus a PS5 homebrew test, which I'm going to be running in this video. I actually wanted to check it out for myself, but definitely check out Brutal Sam's YouTube channel. Link is in the description. But the other thing they showed off in the video was some PS5 homebrew running in KYTY, and I've actually got it set up here. So if we launch the emulator, very simple interface so far. I've got a PS5 SDK sample pack here, and we're actually going to check out some PS5 emulation. Now this is homebrew emulation, and it's a simple triangle running here, but this was meant to run on a PS5, and this is just the early stages, the very beginning of PS5 emulation on PC. So I'm going to go ahead and mount it here. We'll go to samples, sample code, graphics, API. AGC, and from here we'll select the folder. Uh, we're running at 1280 by 720 right now, and I do need to load the scene background and the triangle. So if I find it here, we've got the triangle, and there's a scene module we also need to load up. And now all I need to do is hit test, and we've got PS5 emulation running on the PC. Super early, like I mentioned, it will be a while before we see high-end PS5 games running on PC, but this is really awesome and it's a great start. So this is at 720p, and I'm running this on an RTX 3080 Ti, 28% utilization, 12900K clocked to 5.1 gigahertz, not using much at all, but as you can see, this is a simple triangle test. We're going to back out of this one, and we're going to take it up to 1080. And that's basically it for PS5 homebrew emulation for now. But this is going to create a snowball effect. More people will get interested in PS4 and PS5 emulation on PC. And hopefully this emulator turns out like Dolphin or even SimU, where development is rapid fire on this thing. But I really thought this was awesome, and I wanted to bring it to your attention. I will be keeping an eye on this, and I'll leave a few links in the description. If you want to see a couple PS4 games running, I'll leave a link to Brutal Sam's YouTube channel. I'm also going to leave a link to the GitHub page, and I've been calling it KYTY, but I guess it's the Kitty emulator right now. Not sure about that, but, you know, I wanted to give you a quick look at it. That's going to wrap it up for this one. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.